Warner Robins trying to give one of the city's main boulevards a better look. A proposed ordinance headed to the Planning and Zoning Board would put building requirements on any businesses coming into a five-mile stretch on Russell Parkway. Sarah Hammond joins us live to explain what those regulations might look like. The area from I-75 all the way down to South Houston Lake Road is largely undeveloped except for a few shopping centers. And this new proposed overlay ordinance would ensure that any new businesses coming to this stretch of Russell Parkway would be pleasing to the eye as you drive past. And now Sherry Windham, the Warner Robins Director of Community Development, says the new rules would regulate things like building materials, paint color, and landscaping for any new businesses. Chris Carr, who owns Silly Frilly Frog in the Plantation Mill Shopping Center, says he's not opposed. Uh, uniformity typically makes an area look more inviting. Sometimes the clutter of businesses trying to draw attention to themselves takes away from the overall appeal of the community. The proposed ordinance will go in front of planning and zoning on November 12th, and then their recommendations will be taken to mayor and council. Live in Warner Robins, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Sherry Windham says while they are dictating what these businesses can look like, they aren't dictating what types of businesses can go into the area.